and here's the program. Upon opening the program, you should be asked to open ROM. You can also load ROMs from the top left menu if you want. There's options to save ROM and save ROM as. Stuff we'll go over soon. For this tutorial, I'm using the Toad ROM hack, but this texture editing method goes for just about any character hack. The edit tab has nothing to do with texture, so we'll ignore it completely. What we're interested in is the level tab. Under level, there's a button named textures. Go ahead and click on it and you should see this menu. It looks a little overwhelming, but it's pretty easy to pick out the textures you want to edit. On the right, there's two buttons. One of them is to export textures as PNGs so you can edit them in whatever photo program you use. To export a certain texture, all you have to do is click on the texture you want and press export to image file, which will then open a file explorer window asking you where you want to save your image to. Once you have your image file, you can edit it to your heart's content. And once you're done with that texture, you can go ahead and save it and head back to Quad64. From there, you're going to want to press the Import from Image File button and locate the texture you edited. Then open the texture up and it should appear in Quad64 as so. You can go ahead and close the texture menu once you're done changing all the textures you wanted to change. Now you're going to want to go back to the File button in the top left and from there you have two options. If you want to save the current ROM you have loaded, you can just click the Save ROM button. However, if you want to save this to a ROM that's an exact copy of the one you have loaded right now in Quad64, you press Save ROM As, and then you can name it whatever you want. Something different from the ROM that you currently have loaded, of course. That's up to preference, though. I personally just make a copy of my ROM before I load it up in Quad64, so the Save ROM As button is just a little worthless to me. That's just me, though. And from there, you can load your ROM in Project 64 and marvel at whatever abomination you may have just created. If you need any help, we're usually available in our Discord in the Troubleshooting and Questions channel, depending on... It's probably just usually the Troubleshooting channel, but, you know, we have two channels for some reason for helping people. So yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead go ahead in the Discord server, or you can just ask in the comments below, and I'll try to get to you. Alright, peace out, don't die.